Come on, Abby. Show us what you're made of. Not bad. Well done, eh? Or do you think Abby's selling you short? Fortune has deemed her artiste extraordinaire, though not extraordinary enough to command her fair share. The ringmaster announces, Attention! The artiste! A meager little girl child confronts the beast. Help! I'm afraid I've dropped my cap. Someone to the rescue! Can I be saved by scout? Stop now, use your wit. itself at its best. The fields, the flowers. But you can't afford to rest. The voices pursuing her, they slowly subdue. To wind, stroking grass, cricket orchestras, sounds all so new. Stone by stone, Tree by tree, world without commands, it's strange to be free. The evening sky paints the air, colouring over Abby's despair.
little Abby stops with a shiver. If you want to be free, you'll have to cross the river. Resourceful little lass. Where there's no bridge, she uses her class. Uh oh, without tools, determination comes up empty. May I lend you a string, eh, hey, Abby? Warm and bright. Oh, wouldn't that be fabulous? The old wolf is dying. Leave him in peace. His travels are over. Yours are yet to be. A girl who moves windmills will certainly manage to get a little cart out of the way. Abby, what are you doing? The... the strings? What are you doing with the strings? Stop that! The wolf has lived his life, let him be! What the...? What did I tell you? You have to do what I say! If you don't listen to me, I can't help you! Got it? What do we care what's happened to a wolf? The wolf is yonder, to become dog fodder. And who freed him from the planks? Heroic Abbey. Yet not a single word of thanks. A hunter's cabin, a light, looks inviting, eh, Abbey? Warm and bright. Oh, wouldn't that be fabulous? The old wolf is dying. Leave him in peace. His travels are over. Yours are yet to be. A girl who moves windmills will certainly manage to get a little cart out of the way. You're free to continue. Well done, Abby. But I don't think the cart owner will be happy. Look at turned, but in fact it's merely whimpered and squirmed. And now, only thickets too thick for a girl. So where is this oh-so-beautiful world? Dangers lurking in that swamp, Abby. Do you smell that, Abby? That's death. The world's perfume.
So, Abby, still thrilled by your sense of adventure? Or do you find yourself recalling how your cage was so secure? Don't let him bite you. Where would you be without me, your storyteller? You'd be dog food for old Yeller. Romping about in search of a bone, does he remind you of anyone? Ha <laughs> ha! And for a rotten wooden peg, he's forgotten the one thing he shouldn't. If you want to play with puppies, you could have stayed in the circus. Leave the stick alone. The mutt will find some other bone. Abby peers into strangers' homes as she passes. Humble abodes, but for Abby, each is a castle. Ah. No one opens their door for Abby. Hope against hope is our only key. Doesn't seem to be very helpful. Have a look around. Hey, stop it! That won't help you. And then, Tonda enters stage left. He rages and fumes. Now no one's here to save you. Twice a man's size, five times his strength. To teach this brat a lesson, he'll go to any length. Whichever way she goes, the trap will still catch her. Rash little thing. 
thinking she's something special. Don't stick your hand in things you don't understand. A gaping cavern, a cavernous whirlpool. Boat and passenger in comparison, mini school. No chance, Abby. Seems you'd better head back. Face Tonda and hit the sink. Otherwise, you will certainly be dragged into the deep. Abby? Abby? How long is this going to go on? This isn't how you write a story. If you were really a hero, you wouldn't keep hiding. What are you doing in there? No, no, Tonda! What have you done? What have you done? You, you'll regret this. Enough of this nonsense. Come out, you little brat. 